Earlier this month, a federal judge granted a temporary restraining order after Don't Shoot Portland and a group of protesters filed a lawsuit to try to get Portland police to stop using tear gas on crowds. Well, on Friday, the judge extended that temporary restraining order to July 24th. The lawsuit also now includes other less lethal type of crowd control munitions and says they shouldn't be used anywhere where people passively resisting are likely to be subjected to that force. I have many, many accounts of people being hurt around me, people doubling over in pain, throwing up. Uh, it is mentally traumatizing because I'm going places. I can't not look over my shoulder and when stuff hits the ground, I, I jump. Don't Shoot Portland filed a lawsuit against the city this month to pressure Portland police to stop using CS gas, a powdered form of tear gas. Mayor Wheeler responded, telling police to only use tear gas if a serious and immediate threat to life safety arises. We just kind of accept these things as being part of our general practice within the city, uh, along with police as they exist, as just kind of being the norm. Um, but the norm is um, killing people and it's exacerbating uh, other systemic inequities. Together with community health professionals, Don't Shoot Portland came out with a study Friday on riot control agents and their adverse effects on mental and physical health and social inequities. This new study lays out why the use of CS gas and other chemicals becomes even more dangerous now in the midst of a pandemic. Many of those um, chemicals that are inside of these canisters, these grenades, are actually extremely toxic. Health experts have concerns over protesters unknowingly infected with the novel coronavirus, coughing from the gas and spreading it. When you get exposed to tear gas, what do you do? You cough, you sneeze, you, you, you start to tear up. Well, your respiratory droplets that can uh, spread COVID-19 is almost identical in size to what the machine disperses the tear gas in. Authors of the report found riot control agents could cause long-term mental, emotional, and physical harm and exacerbate trauma. A lot of people's mental health is already compromised right now as they fight for the injustices that has been plagued upon the African-American community. So just showing up, they're risking their lives. They question if we can't use tear gas in war against our enemies, why can we use it on our own people? We talk about uprisings of civil unrest or the expression of free speech. I think that the concern of our city and the government should be into protecting the rights of those protesters, not to violate their rights and then also not to poison them or cause harm. Morgan Romero, KGW News.